problem that we face as a people is not is not something new. All, all, most of our people deal with that. Matter of fact, it was designed by our enemies because if you had a man in the house, you couldn't get certain benefits. Right. So they encouraged us to have single parent households, and because of that, our families are destroyed. Our children are, are out here destroyed. Our men are incarcerated. But read that. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 14. So we're going to go ahead and show you something in the Bible real quick so you can understand how God ordained this to be so that way we can bring this order back in our community. Read. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40. Bring it up. Let all things be done decently and in order. All things should be done decently and in order according to the Bible. So I'm going to give you the order that God has set in place for his children, for his men, women, and children. There's an order that we must come back to in this Bible to restore our families, to restore our community. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the first thing you got to observe when you pick somebody to, to be with, to have children, is, is that man following the Lord. Is his leader, his head, Christ. Because if not, how is he going to lead you? Right. How is he going to lead you in the ways you should go and how is he going to help with the family right. if he's not being led by Christ? Right. right? Read that again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So now, in the order of God, the head of the man is Christ. Christ should be leading the man. Right. The head of the woman is the man in righteousness. You're not being led by a man who is not being led by Christ. Where is he leading you? He's leading you to destruction. Right. To ultimately being a single mother. Right. Right. Trying to raise a young boy to a man. That's what happens when things aren't done decently and in order. Right. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So if your auntie is telling you that Christ and God are the same person, that's a scripture to show you that they're not the same. There's an order with Christ as well. Christ has to follow the Father. Okay? So it's God the Father, Christ, then it's the man, then it's the woman, and then it's the children. Is there more on that? All right, so when that, that's an order, right? That's the order of the family, right? So now, as a, as a, as a woman, give me first Timothy. As a woman, once you understand the order, then you'll understand why this scripture says what it says. Because you'll start to see, okay, I can't just be with a man who ain't got no leadership qualities. I can't be with a man that's gonna uh, uh, be, you know, half, you know, hot and cold. He's not really gonna be uh, uh, stable. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember, you gotta look at these things. But the only way to see clearly is this Bible. Right. Read that. Yes, sir. First Corinthians. I mean. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. Right so now. once you know the order, then you'll understand why this scripture goes the way it goes. Read. I would therefore that the younger woman marry. The younger woman should marry. Most of the times what happens though is the child comes before the marriage. And before... That's what she always said. The child came before the marriage and so now there's confusion because there was no order established. Right. Right? So... Yes, sir. Read. Bear children. So after the marriage, then it's the children. Right? Read it again from the top. I would therefore that the younger woman marry. Marry. Read. Bear children. Then bear children. Read. Guide the house. Then guide the house. That's the order. Right. But if you miss a step in that order, then there's chaos, confusion, depression, stress. And that's because God gave us straight commandments. Now you, what you can do to help your um, your daughter, give me uh, the last scripture, uh, Titus, give me Titus. We're gonna show you as an older woman who has now been through some things, what you can do to help stop what we went over, which is generational curses. Last scripture. Uh, old age woman. Titus, chapter two and verse four. Bring it verse up. two, that the age, excuse me, verse four, no, verse three. Yeah. The aged woman likewise. So the older woman, the woman who's now been through them, been through some things, this is what she should need to do with her daughter, read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So now you have a, a huge responsibility to now take hold of this Bible and be an example to your children, to your daughters, to your daughter, right? Wait till they pass by, read. 
None Paul's accusers Not Given to much wine So you don't want to be in the midst of lying Getting drunk or, or, or toe up in front of your children You got to be an example of holiness Right? right okay. Read Teachers of good things Teachers of good things Which is the Bible Read Yes sir That they may teach the young woman To be sober To love their husbands To love their children So that right there Give me Matthew 26 So that right there is the order sis. Once you come to the knowledge of who you are and you come to understand that you're an Israelite sister, then it's your time to actually get back in order. It's, what's done is done. But now it's time for you to start teaching her the ways of this Bible. So look on the back. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word, his word.